Hey, what's up and welcome back to my channel. It's of course Chelsea in the building and in today's video I'm going to be going a bit more in depth into uh, Canva and exporting and how you should probably consider at least using it in your web designs or developments or whatever the case may be. Um, so we are going to start with this basic uh, template that I found. I just googled like a, a mood board brainstorm. I prefer those stylized mood boards. That's why I select this one. It's kind of cute. Um, it's not my design. The designer's information is usually right across uh, the top part. Let me go home again. I guess I searched for it, but it's okay. I'll try to put the information for the designer down below, but you can also find it in Canva if you want to follow along and maybe use the same design um, and do some changes to the elements. So as you all know, Canva and everything else that I use, if you have come to the conclusion that they are all the same, you, you're there. Congratulations. Welcome to the team. Stop wasting money where you don't need to. <laughs> um, yes, they are pretty much all artboards, except some go a bit more in depth into the artboard while others uh, don't have that capability. So looking at this mood board, we have different elements, AKA objects, <laughs> AKA smart objects. So basically that's exactly what this is. We're going to take this and we're going to download it as a, we could download it as a video, which we, if we download it as a video, we could essentially place it on the website and boom done if someone loves it yay i love it um or we can get a little more creative we can do a lot of the creative process in here such as making this bigger making this bigger making it smaller changing the colors click on this you want to change the color from pink maybe you don't like that pink you want to use this pink same thing really doesn't matter you can use pretty much all the same things so outside of there we're going to go back click download and we are going to download it as a PDF for print. Nothing else. Don't select any of the other options. They really aren't that helpful um, for this particular project or the show and tell because you won't be able to manipulate it in the way that you think. So do not use this SVG here. Does not do what you want. <laughs> so we're just going to select PDF print high quality and we're going to do download boom once it's downloaded you're going to see it's got a little bar it'll ask you to save it I'm going to save it to my home my desktop home and I'm going to save it as the mood board brainstorm and I'm going to say um, this is the canva PDF export and I'm gonna select save. So now that I have selected save, I'm gonna come right over here and exit that. Oh goodness. Click on the mood board that we saved to the desktop and there you have it. Now notice, I'm gonna close this again and I, and I wish I could just slow it down. I want you to notice how it opens up when you open the PDF. Just pay attention to how, how it opens each element up while it's uploading. It's probably gonna do it because I am recording at the same time, but watch. I'm gonna click on it. As you saw, each individual element is being uploaded um, or being uh, or opening up, I should say, at that time. So it's already reading it as layers in Adobe. So how do we work with those layers? Adobe Acrobat is essentially PowerPoint. <laughs> you can you can edit it here if you want. You know, see, um, it it's the same thing. Uh, let's zoom on in. It, it's it's the same thing you know 
if, if you really wanted to go go into that but we're not we're actually going to export it so go to file and we are going to export as an in encapsulated postscript because it'll contain more data if we do um, the postscript that way so we'll just desktop and we'll say um, brainstorm and we'll say Adobe PDF export and save to the desktop as well wait what I name it well yeah uh, Adobe PDF because it's Adobe that I'm using to export it as duh and now we're gonna click on it right over here and now our brainstorm has gone ahead and opened up and as you can see it is reading its layers but before we just click on layer we're gonna turn it into an artboard by using the artboard tool and select selection and then insert artboard boom because when you opened it up it was already selecting the object itself or everything that it that's saying okay let's insert at the very top this don't do document instead just do selection and then open it and now each layer you can go through so let's take a look everything is now curves curves um, image layers the dog oh my goodness let's zoom in uh, make that change that back to the move tool come right here see the pup the puffies and the little balls every single little thing you can zoom right on in and then you can actually make changes to it isn't that awesome make it fun let's zoom on in even more all the little nodes to work with on the font this is an image and it's going to read it as such so if you even want to open it up um, it is an image that was a I'm, I'm assuming it, it was an image as a JPEG which it's going to still read as a JPEG because it's not a PNG so it's not a graphic see and same for all the font so we can make changes if we want. We can make these the circle a little bit bigger. Um, we can expand, but we're not gonna do any of that. We're gonna leave it exactly as it is. And because again, this is an artboard as well. And now we are going to go to file and export. And we're gonna export it as an SVG for export export texas curves for font independence mm, yeah let's just do that and hit export and we're going to say that this is honestly affinity is literally photoshops but i'm going to say uh, affinity if i can spell today affinity okay export and save There's one other thing that you can do. Um, that's because it's another like form of an artboard is once this is exported as the brainstorm, let's take a look at Figma. I'm just gonna close this. I'm gonna add a new page, page five. And we're going to take that brainstorm and let's, let's let's take a look. Let's see if we can do anything with this. We'll just drop it in there. Page five. Where did, where, did we drop it in there? Probably did not. Okay. Don't be like this. Oh, we did. Okay, never mind. We did. Um. So select it, and we're going to change the size because it's too small and we'll say that it is 1000 by wait it was this way so we'll say this is 2000 by 1000 
Oh, that's too many zeros. There we go. Uh, we'll do 2,000 again. I think it was even. Check that as well. Okay, we're going to just zoom out just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. And as you can see, the only thing that didn't show up is the images and i put way too many boards in there so <laughs> let's delete those those extra ones so right here because they're photos it didn't read as, as that and this photo was on top of this one um so now from the artboard groups and all of the different vectors all of those little vectors isn't that great that is so cool and actually, if you wanted to, you can now um, take the photos that you had and, and actually just import them in separately. And then if you want, click on it again, we'll do inspect. I'm gonna look at the, the whole dang on thing. You can actually view the entire and code for it pass through you get the point you get the point all right so now let's go back to the pdf version and then from pdf we're going to select export and powerpoint presentation for the powerpoint presentation i'm gonna say uh let's say PDF PowerPoint template and save to the desktop of course save export once it's done exporting we already know it's gonna open up we're gonna look at it we're gonna say oh that's cool now here's something you may run into I don't have those fonts so my computer's like I don't know what that is and that's okay if it's an open source port feel free to download it and make sure you have it but outside of that let's look at how how it's grouped everything so it says these three are images that's what they are this same thing like an artboard you're able to manipulate it add some words on top of it um even a little pop you know Move the little pup and the little paper that's with it. So that's cool. See the pup? You can move him by himself. And it's just, it's so much easier to do stuff this way. Like, look at that. Now, don't be like me and don't have the fonts on your computer because, man, I've got way too many anyway. <laughs> Apparently, not enough. So there you have it now you know literally everything you use it uses the same uh elements or same style and once you get that again get that through your noggin you're going to be able to use adobe photoshop you're going to be able to use uh figma once you start to understand how layers and elements or aka smart objects and groups work then you're going to be, man, I can really design some shit. <laughs> well, I hope this video has been helpful. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, like, subscribe. I'm always here. And again, this was Aesthetically Dope. Have a good whatever today is. Laters.